Up the Junction is a great song by Squeeze. It's in standard tuning and the introductory chords are just E and A. And the strumming pattern is down, down, up, up, down for those. We're going to play that through twice, okay? So. Now there is a riff that kind of goes over the top of that uh, and it centers around the top three strings. Okay, so on the B string, we've got open and then the second fret. And then on the first string, the same. Open to the second. And then open on that E, okay, so. Then we go to the fourth fret, first string, and then back to the two. Yeah, play around with that, you will get it. It's quite simple, it's in the key of E. Yeah, nice, nice sounding riff. And then that moves down to the second fret, second string, fourth fret, third string. And then first fret, third string, and then finish there back in the E position. So on the E, fourth string. Okay, once we've done that, we move back into the verse. Okay, so it's E, A, E, C sharp minor, back to E. So we play that twice, okay? And again, that nice strain pattern, down, down, up, up, down. Okay, so we have a few of those choruses. It's a, a real example of a narrative song, the song that tells a clear story, and we'll, we'll come to that as well later. Um, <clears throat> three of those, and then we move into this bridge, okay? So the bridge is an absolute explosion of minor chords, okay? Uh, so let's have a look at them. So C sharp minor, fourth fret, G sharp minor, F sharp minor, B minor, D minor, A minor, G minor, F, A. Okay, right, so C sharp minor then, which we have here at the fourth fret. The good news is we just move that second finger away and then push these two fingers up to get the G sharp minor. We just slide that down two frets for the F sharp minor. And we go back up to the B minor here, okay. And we slide up three frets for the D minor. Take that second finger off again, move these two to make the A minor. Down to the G minor. Add that second finger, first fret to make the F. And then A. Okay, I'm just going to play that through then, okay. Okay, and then with the string pattern. Okay, so you notice I'm just doing a couple of downstrokes for each of those. No need to do anything uh, too complex with this. It's a nice, simple pop song with quite a deep meaning. And that deep meaning is about a young man, I don't know, falls in love, maybe with somebody that didn't really love, gets them uh, pregnant, uh, struggles to pay all the bills, relationship goes 
well, up the junction, which in England means down the pan, which in England means goes wrong <laughs> for any uh, overseas viewers. Uh, and this is the beauty of the song, and we don't get many songs like this anymore, I don't think, but uh, it tells this lovely narrative story. Then it, when it gets this horrible part, well, if you want to call the baby being born horrible, um, it signals like the end of his life, really, as he, as he knew it, uh, the arrival of a young baby, uh, and there's a key change, okay? So instead of the E and A, it's now D and G. And then there's this amazing chord, uh, a B minor six. So if you make an E chord, remove the third finger and put that on the second fret on the first string, you get this lovely chord. Okay, so let's ha hear that. Um, and that goes with this word incubator and it, and it really adds so much weight to this song. Let's hear it then. Okay, so it's D, G, D. B minor 6, D, G, D, then it goes back, B minor, D, D, A, etc. Okay, so I suppose it's the equivalent of a grandfather clock dropping on a cartoon creature <laughs> in, the, in a Disney film. Okay, so let's have a listen to that then. So it's D, same strumming pattern, but it's D and G now. It's moved um, down a, a whole step. Okay. closer to the original key with the uh, the A's and the E's again. So lovely song of the junction, really good band. Their, their songwriting, particularly lyrically, is absolutely superb. If you found that useful, please remember to subscribe. And if you have any requests, just pop them in the comments box. Mm -hmm.